Hello everyone, Moo here with another gameplay video for the Disney Zoom Zoom mobile game. And before we get into why there's a bar stool in front of me, uh, I just want to go over a little bit of uh, what I was going through, the thought process and everything uh, that you know spurred me to come up with this little strategy. And if you guys remembered, or if you didn't watch my Alice in Wonderland gold pin video, uh, I was having a lot of trouble with the stylus swiping left to right. And uh, I wasn't really sure why, maybe the phone was overheating, maybe something else. Uh, but anyways, you know, I was thinking like, the whole thing with Cinderella is you wanna generate time bubbles. And if half of your swipes aren't registering, well, that's not really going to work out too well for you. Um, so, you know, I was like, I, I never really had any problems uh, with the swipes when I was using my hands. Uh, but of course, the stylus is significantly faster once you get used to it, unless of course it doesn't register on screen. So, you know, I started playing with Cinderella with just my hands again, uh, just to kind of see if I was having any of those difficulties. And I wasn't. And then I was thinking like, you know, what if I uh, like you know, use both hands and then um, I look to see if other people were doing this thing and they were and it proved to be super effective. Now this might be old news for you, but it's new for me and I'm still trying to get the hang of this and I set a new high score using this technique. I got 27 million or something like that and uh, you know, uh, I figured I'd share it with you guys in case you didn't know about it. It's definitely going to improve your score. It's really efficient and you don't have to worry about weird things like the stylus not registering because you are using both hands, both fingers and um, the, the actual motion of the strokes doesn't change. I still use the same technique as I did for my introductory video to Cinderella, uh, where I go in the U shape across the bottom. And then now I use the other hand. Once that chain ends, I begin on the other side. I usually start on the left side, but it doesn't really matter uh, where you start. It basically depends whether you're left-handed or right-handed, I guess. Um, but that is why the bar stool is here. Uh, I'm trying to position the phone in such a way that you can kind of see the way my hands move across the screen. And I do have a couple extra tips for Cinderella, of course. Uh, the number one tip is make sure you clear all the bubbles off of the screen before you reinitiate her skill. It doesn't matter if the skill's already charged. It doesn't matter how many Cinderella's you're wasting tapping the bubbles uh, as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, get them all off the screen because they will interfere with your swipes and you will miss out on generating new time bubbles. And that is the entire purpose of using Cinderella. Uh, the other thing I should mention is with this strategy, generally you will create between 8 to 12, 13 ish uh, magic bubbles. And if you can clear all of them, uh, you have to alternate your taps. Uh, you're doing this with both hands as well. Uh, you want to pop those magic bubbles in a second or less if possible. So you want to be really quick. That is like the number one thing I can. Uh, suggest to you guys pop those time bubbles as quickly as you possibly can. That is the biggest drain of time uh, for the strategy. Uh, the second thing is make sure you swipe edge to edge. That's kind of a given. If you don't swipe edge to edge, you're not going to fall within that 9 to 16 uh, zoom range where you do have a chance to generate a time bubble. And the third ties in with everything I just mentioned right now. Make sure you do clear uh, all those time bubbles, uh, you know, if somehow there's one or two that stay on screen, avoid hitting those as you swipe uh, in between them uh, because it will end your chain and, you know, you're going to waste that skill usage, uh, you know, in generating the time bubbles. Uh, and the same thing with swiping too quickly or too slowly. You kind of get, I, I can't really tell you how fast to swipe it because every phone is different. Your phone might be faster than mine, so you can swipe a little faster or it might be slower. So you got to, you know, there's a certain feel to it and you kind of have to play uh, to figure that out for yourself. Uh, but basically we will be using all of the bonus items for this and uh, let's get into the gameplay and see what we can achieve here. Hey guys, I had to do a second take. I wasn't too happy with my initial score of 15.7 million or whatever it was. So I wanted to do a, another attempt. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you a better sample of how good this technique is 
And, uh, you know, it's a little awkward playing on the stool. I understand I look like a little T-Rex here with the, the whole thing going on. Uh, but, you know, the things I do for you guys, you know, to show you this new technique. So, you know, just uh, try to understand a little bit. I'm doing this for you, uh, my brothers and sisters. And uh, let's see, what, what do we got here? We got two time bubbles. Let's put up a really good score. I want you guys to uh, see how of a, an amazing technique this really is. And um, as you can see, I'm trying to get rid of those time bubbles as quickly as I can. It is a little bit awkward for me when I don't have enough Cinderella's on screen to recharge the skill right away because, again, I'm not quite used to using my hands just yet. Uh, but I expect that to improve the more I use this method. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to put up a really good high score. And by really good, I'm talking at least 70 million. Uh, once I do get used to it, I would be pretty happy with that considering my current high score is closer to 30. Uh, but, you know, after uh, witnessing what this uh, technique can do and how much room for improvement I have and the fact that I'm only level 134 I can still get quite a few bonus um, percentage points as I level up uh, you know the sky is really the limit with Cinderella gotta hit that magic bubble before I start swiping don't forget to do that and uh, Let's focus on the game here. Want to put up a good score. And it's totally all right to swipe up the middle once the bottom gets filled up with the magic bubbles. You just want to avoid them at all costs. Try to make those chains between 9 and 16 zoom to get the time bubbles. And uh, as I've said in another video, I've received up to 7 or 8 time bubbles from one skill usage. So uh, if you pay attention to where they are and how you're swiping, you can definitely extend your time to some ridiculous levels. And get some like seriously high scores here. And we got three bubbles that time, but I accidentally touched one and popped it. And hopefully it evened out with the amount of time I lost forming that chain. Oh, it's, it's definitely a little frustrating because I'm much slower using my hands, or my fingers, I should say. But um, hopefully uh, it won't take too long to get used to using them, as that is what I started with when I first started playing the game, before I even realized people were playing this with styluses. So I just need to get back into that element, and I should be alright. I was scared I would drop my uh, chain there, so I used the giant head just to create a, an inefficient chain. And it kind of ruined my uh, ability to create or recharge her, her skill fast enough. And now we're at only 18 seconds left. Hopefully I can produce some time bubbles to get us back up to 30 seconds or so. That would be ideal. Um, Remember, edge to edge, you want to make sure you hit as many of the zooms as possible because 9 to 16 is a lot smaller window than you think it is, especially when you're trying to swipe across the screen the entire game with obstacles and everything.
I'm making a lot of mistakes in this game and uh, even so it's still a it's gonna be a little bit of a better run than the first one and hopefully we can continue getting these time bubbles oh I almost dropped the chain there I'm so not used to using my fingers this is really really hard uh, but we recovered we got three time bubbles hopefully we can keep going here Oh, that was close. If, if I drop the chain at this point, it's basically over. I will use the Baymax to make a chain. Hopefully get another time bubble out of it. Uh, that didn't happen, but that's okay. It was definitely worth the split second risk. Two more time bubbles, not bad. T-Rex is uh, hanging on here. Eight seconds to go. We do have one time bubble on screen. Uh, hopefully we can get three this time. That would be super, super helpful. And by three, I guess we're lucky to get one. No. Come on, there isn't even enough Cinderella's on screen. Uh, it looks like our run is going to end here. And of course, Baymax gave us a time bubble. Uh, but we managed to get to 21.5 million. Let's see if we do get any extra bonus after that uh, magic bubble popped. And uh, as you can see, we got Cinderella up to level 44. And uh, lots of gold or coin as well, 21.6 million. And as you guys saw, I messed up a lot. I'm still not um, quite there yet with the feel uh, for the swiping. But uh, with a lot of room for improvement comes a very high potential for high score. So I choose to look at the silver lining there. And uh, I didn't want to delay this until I do get that ridiculously high score. I want to share this uh, technique with you guys in case you weren't aware it existed. Uh, so you guys can start using it and improving yourselves. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe keep it on the down low with your friends. And they'll be wondering while you're, while you're getting four times their score on your uh, high score lists. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you do have any questions, uh, I do realize... The actual camera portion of the video is really small and uh, even zooming out and having the phone on the stool here might not uh, give you the angle of view that uh, you know is really useful to you. Uh, so if you do have questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to clarify for you and uh, help you figure this thing out as I am learning myself, of course. And as well, if you have tips for me, if you've known about this for months uh, or whatever, and uh, you know, you, you haven't told me about it yet, come on, you know, help me out here. You know, I'm, I'm looking like a T-Rex for you guys. The least you could do is give me some tips. Uh, but, you know, again, thanks so much uh, for watching again guys and uh, see you next time.